Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the 16th episode of Let's Play Moonscars. In the previous two episodes, a lot has occurred. We have basically essentially started exploring the earth bowels, the eastern ones, the western ones. First we went to the eastern ones and we couldn't find the key there uh, because there were locked gates so we went to the western one where we have learned more grim and somewhat cryptic information about how Grey Irma is no longer kind of the original Grey Irma she's now kind of like a Claiborne doppelganger but anyway we have obtained the key and in today's episode we're gonna revisit the eastern uh, earth bowels and we're gonna open those gates and we're gonna try to find Lajos or Lajos or what the fuck his name is I don't know we're gonna find him because he has the integral machine and um, basically we just gotta do this we gotta find him we gotta I assume we're gonna we're gonna fight against him anywho let's choose let's choose the earth bowels we're gonna go for the eastern ones uh, the western ones or the reflection ones. One thing here that I'm seeing is that for quite a while I wasn't really able to find any um, clay uh, template upgrade things. So, I mean, the, not the template, sorry, the tempering of the clay. And this might be bad, right? Because I don't want to underperform against these minions. These guys might be tough and I don't want to underperform against them. Okay, so is this one of the... This is not the place that I have to open. So I think we gotta actually... We either go here. Okay, this was inaccessible. So this is now openable. And that means that... If these guys... I'm not dealing enough damage against them. Oh shit, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, good thing the Jester doesn't seem to be resistant to my damage. But the flying opponents uh, very much are resistant to my shit. Thousand bone powder. Okay, what's here? More flyers, this is bad. Then we have the stalactites again. Okay, there's one more flyer. Not even to mention that ravenous gilded Claiborne. Okay, let's heal. The tragic ambient music, I swear. This is probably my most favorite soundtrack in the entire game. Although, you know, I generally enjoy all of the music. And moon scars. Okay, he's almost dead. Almost. Let's finish him off. Uh, okay, the gates have been opened from the bottom. Let's open this too. So I forget, I didn't pay attention. Was there, was there a path further to the east or is there anything here? There is, but it's closed off. So I guess this was the only way to go, right? This was the only way to go. I, I believe I have, I have left something above. There was one gate that I think I had to open, so possibly there's an upgrade there. Backtracking now seems kinda wrong. The closest thing would be in the... in the Geneseum. The closest dark mirror is in the Geneseum for me to backtrack to. There's more areas here. Suicide guys, these are easy to kill. These guys are... It's like no sweat killing them. There's no challenge. Okay, the problem with this dude, though, the problem with this guy is that 
he can deal lots of damage. But with that being said, you gotta keep in mind that he can't really take a lot of damage. He deals a lot of damage, but he doesn't have too much, you know, uh, health. All right, what do we have here? Nothing, nothing, so... We have a, a secret area here. I've gotten used to, to, you know, identifying these. By now, so... Okay, kill, kill this guy first. The flyer should die first. Okay, come here. To be honest, his actual attack pattern is very predictable. As long as you're actually paying attention, it's not hard to fight against this guy. He does two swings and then a third final one. So if you can kind of... If you have the patience to see what he's doing, it's not even difficult to... to bypass his attacks. You just have to really pay attention to, to his pattern. Like here, two attacks and then the third one. But that guy was too weak to even withstand my my damage, so he couldn't deal. You know, he couldn't really deal the third attack. Okay, we have this guy. Okay, one more jester. One gland. With this thing, we're returning back up. Turning back up. And open this. Okay, so we're basically going back. I don't know if I want to go back. The only thing that's kind of gnawing at my mind is that I am aware that I have left something up there. But honestly, going to the to the Genasium or the Genasium or whatever. I don't know if I want to do that, honestly, because I'm gonna... That way I'm gonna respawn all of the enemies, you know, all that shit. I'm gonna have to fight against all of them again. I don't know if I want to do that. I prefer not to. Okay, this looks like a boss battle. <laughs> I know where there's a boss battle. This looks like one. Oh, man. Yeah. Should, should I equip? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? No, 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 I, I already see something here. Anyway, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna equip the cookie. I'm gonna equip the fucking cookie, because... Hold on. So... I don't need the Reckless Fencer, as long as I do a lot of critical damage. So... Healing Trance, and put that here. And there we see Lajos, or Lajos, or whatever the hell his name is. So this guy's like a mage, I guess? Okay, I, I assume he has some kind of a... I assume this bitch has some kind of a weakness, but you have to understand what, what that weakness is, right? I'm just damaging his hand, I don't know, that's... Okay, let's... let's heal. Heal, 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 heal. I think... So I think the spell damage is actually doing its thing. Right, so by doing those explosions... He probably has more, you know, tricks up, up his sleeve, so... Just hitting him in the limbs is not enough. I'm, I'm certain it's not enough, but... But with that being said, I am damaging him. 
Okay, so, so the healing cookie so far is just, you know, it's, it's really good. Just heal up when you need to, just heal. More damage, more healing. There's probably some kind of a spell that would be even better than what I'm doing now because I'm using the seismic explosion a lot, right? And not even to mention those goddamn fucking uh, stalactites are fucking me up. Because they're dropping from above, right? Those stalactite things? The, the cavern, the rock, stalactite, jagged stone thingies. I think his head also gets damaged by the seismic explosion. What's this thing? Is this... Is that, like, is that his heart or something in the middle where the, where the ribcage is? I kind of just had this thought, like, if you think about it, like... Did I kill- I just killed him? I wasn't even- <laughs> I wasn't even watching his health that much. Lajos, strong clay tastes better. Yo, know, that's- that's a good advertisement for some kind of a- You know, they, they're selling this mud coffee now? <laughs> that would- that would sound like a good fucking advertisement. Strong clay tastes better. Anyway, Grey Irma, I need something that you have. Lajos, I need tacos, an integral vessel. Hmm. Why? You had your own, Irma. Not anymore, I reckon. What are you talking about? You lost it that night, Wanda said. My memory of the night is vague, Lajos, or Lajos, or the ear of tacos, means she robbed you. She? No matter. You will not get my vessel. And why would you need it, Lajos? You don't serve the sculptor anymore. Neither do you. Hard to speak. But know this. I can't let the vessel into the kiln. She won't make it while I watch the way. Go tell her that. I guess the moon? I guess now you're like kind of like, we're kind of serving the moon, I guess. I don't... Item found. Kiln or kiln, I don't know, guys. Sorry, I'm I'm mispronouncing every fucking thing. I know, just <laughs> bear with me. That's my nature. That's just what I do. I mispronounce kiln key, key to the kiln in the heart of earth bowels. Item found: memory mold, cruel lajos, a memory of a person embodied in strange sort of matter. Reminds Irma of lajos, the cruel bastard and the eater of tacos. May be of interest to the moon priestess. All right, so I guess this dude was actually a bastard, like a child of the late king. I I'm actually kind of confused. So that mutant baby that we killed, it was the child of of the king. What's his name, Drahan, or was that the child of Zorin? Because <laughs> I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? And, and same thing here, like, there, there tends to be a lot of children in this game. Even, like, little Claiborne bitches, and then we had that boss, and then we have even living children, like, uh, Adelinka and her sister. Are these, I mean, Adelinka, Lajos, the Eater of Tacos, uh, the Mutated Baby, are these the children of Zorin or of Drahan, that king we spoke to? I don't know. A lot of questions, not enough answers. Not even to mention that I'm being absent-minded as fuck, and I should have paid more attention. Maybe then I would have the answer. But anyway, this was an interesting fight. But I can tell you this, though. Um, I can tell you this much. Um, you definitely need to have the fucking... Uh, the, the cookie thing. Like, this this cookie... Like, look, man, look. Um, 
I saw it from the start. Before even the boss battle has begun, I told myself, Gene, you gotta equip this healing trance bone stone cookie, because that's like eating Oreos only, you know, in the fucking moon scars type of a setting. We're eating this bone stone cookie while we're getting smacked around by Lajos with his big ass claws, but we're not taking any damage, right? So you smack his hands in return, you just hit him, you tell him hands off, you know, fuck off. And then when you have enough I-Core, you just heal up and you redo the whole thing. And this was, this was honestly a very easy fight. Like, I would say this is like five times easier than that Chakran fight. Anywho, um, we have the map updated. I would really love to find some kind of a fucking, um, we have the Dark Mirror, that's fine. We're probably gonna wrap up after this. But what I really want to find, I really want to find a clay tempering upgrade. Because, to be honest, I feel like I should be already doing more damage, you know, to some of these bitches, man. Like, I'm, I'm beginning to feel, like I, like I told you, the whole thing with, with... So here's the thing, the whole thing when it comes to, to this game is how you can perform. It's like, it's like having a bad or a good computer. You can, you can perform well or you can underperform with a bad PC, you know, in real life. You can have some kind of a highly demanding game and you, if you have all of your specs upgraded, your, your, your machinery, your hardware, your rig is gonna handle that shit. Same with Irma's performance. Like, I'm feeling that I'm doing okay. But in the previous episodes, I was doing even better. Now, I'm actually feeling that, you know, enemies are beginning to be kind of challenging, right? So I need more damage. Let's just kill these guys. You see the flyer. I'm not even doing enough damage to his bitch ass. These guys I can kill. These guys are fine. I can kill them. Right, so let's, come on, man, come on. Don't make me angry. Just die and make my life easier. Right, this is locked off. Uh, there's just a humongous fucking, some kind of a goddamn maze here. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this? Is this some kind of an old queen? Now, I'm having difficulties with my with me perceiving what what is who is this it looks like some kind of an old queen horpina or horpina who goes there i recognize your presence i'm irma my girl i prayed for your return dear blade maiden have you found my eyes oh yeah i did don't think we are familiar it's that bitch the hag but you should well remember me for this miserable hag is your old queen horpina or Horpina. I, look, guys, again. You, Irma, you were like a daughter to me. I wish I could see your gorgeous red hair. Oh, it's not. It's not red anymore. Nonsense, old woman. My hair is not. Please, Irma, I beg you. Everybody has abandoned me. My husband, Drahan. My little Lajos. Okay, so Lajos, the eater of tacos, belongs to Drahan. Okay. And now you. Please. Bring me my eyes. I'm so tired of loneliness and darkness. So tired. Right, let's... Okay, Horpina, a memory of a person embodied in a strange sort of matter, reminds Irma of Horpina, the old bitch-ass queen. Right, so let's give her the eyes. I, I believe I have both. Yeah, I'm gonna return the eyes. Right eye, left eye. Now what? Oh, I can see again. Thank you. Thank you. You... You! You're not Irma! You are her twisted, ugly, vicious mold, clay monstrosity. Don't come closer! Oh, I wish I could strangle you with my very hands. That's not very... that's not very thankful of her. That's not very nice. What an old bitch. I'm not surprised that fucking... what's his name? Drahan sent her to the dungeon. Easy hag. Remember who you owe your life to. Keep your manners. Yeah, she's not very well-mannered. You are defiling the queen's presence. Leave now. What a cunt. Can I, can I just... Can I just kill her? No, right? Okay, so I can just talk to her again. Man, what a bitch. No, no wonder Drahan kicked her ass out. From the castle and into the... 
into this place into the earth bowels anyway look we're gonna go back guys i don't want to make this episode too long this was mostly dedicated to the boss battle against lajos um let's do this oh shit man come on man that's not come on no 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 don't do this armor come on right let's but so, so you see the problem with the problem with the super dash is that you kind of need more how should i put it you need more space to actually propel and then control Irma. anyway so we're back at the dark mirror obviously there's gonna be a doppelganger again no doubt about it um can i talk to her she's gonna say something about lajos right the bowels of the earth the darkest place the farthest from her rays frankly sister i couldn't have imagined you would reach this far it was not easy you should know that far below in the deepest cleft lies the bowels core the place where every clay vessel was annealed the master kiln why should i know this the sculptor wanted you to bring the vessel there but no pristine succeeded. How can you know this? I just know. Don't ask. Alright, so 5,000 bone powder. Then am I gonna get some kind of a dialogue for fucking up Lajos? No, I guess no. Maybe I gotta like re-enter the whatever the... Uh, I gotta maybe re-enter the, the mold workshop. Anywho, um, the cat is also gone. What the hell? Can I, can I, I always wondered what this is. It looks like some kind of a chunk of bloody ice. Anyway, what if I talk to him? Okay, he doesn't say where the cat is either. I guess the cat and Adelinka are both gone. Uh, there's nothing here, obviously. This is getting more and more and more depressing. Let's see if I still have my... Yeah, I still have my cookie. Anyway, guys, this was an episode that... I don't even know how long it is by now. Maybe also about half an hour. But I think this is, an, uh, this is a very useful episode because you can see how to defeat uh, the Taco Eater Lajos uh, by just having a proper setup, a proper gemstone, and a proper strategy. By just smacking his claws, getting enough... Uh, I core and then using the seismic explosion keep in mind seismic explosion class three this thing let me just show it to you um seismic explosion is the way to go if you want to destroy him utterly uh and stay alive so this was also done i'm proud to say very proud to say this was done in one attempt for me it's quite an achievement because i am no expert when it comes to action metroidvania type of games i usually fuck up horribly even though i enjoy playing them anywho this was done in one attempt with the proper setup this boss battle is a piece of cake honestly easier than all of the previous ones so far the most difficult one was uh wanda i mean sorry not wanda but rather uh chakran then wanda then the baby was okay and then uh this guy uh, lajos right so i believe the baby and lajos were both defeated when i had the cookie enabled so that just goes to show this cookie is the shit anyway guys that's all the advice i have for today uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode or hit the dislike button if you did not enjoy it uh, Write your comments in the comment section. I always love reading stuff from you guys Even though the comments aren't too numerous, but what are you gonna do? Maybe one day they will be uh, Regardless guys if you want to support me subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon until then take care and stay safe